For this edition of Forgotten NFL Players in the 90s, I wanted to take a look back at Natron Means. When I think about the former Charger and Jaguar, two things quickly come to mind. The first is that Natron was a mean dude while carrying the football. He was so tough to bring down. Number 20 was able to dish out punishment, but surprisingly, the running back, who was listed at 5'10", 245 pounds, had some speed, nimbleness, and showed some ability to get to the outside, break long runs, and make defenders miss. Means was drafted in the second round by the San Diego Chargers during the 1993 NFL Draft. Prior to his arrival, San Diego already had a big bruising back of their own in Marion Butts. The two-time pro bowler and rookie had nearly identical stats with Butts starting all 16 games. But after the 1993 season, Marion Butts was traded, mainly due to the new NFL salary cap being implemented, and therefore it was going to be the Natron Means show in San Diego and Natron produced. In 1994, Means amassed 1,350 rushing yards and was vital in helping San Diego earn AFC's number two seed in the playoffs. In the divisional round, Means ran 24 times for 139 yards against a decent Dolphins run defense. San Diego won 22-21 and would be headed to Pittsburgh for the AFC Championship. During this game, Means rushed the ball 20 times for 69 yards, but keep in mind this was going up against a Bill Cowher team whose defenses have been historically really good against the run. Nonetheless, San Diego won and would be headed to the Super Bowl. But on the NFL's biggest stage, San Fran was too much as Means was only able to carry the ball 13 times for 33 yards. So for the 1994 season, Natron Means had a total of 400 carries, including the postseason, as he more than doubled his workload in comparison to the previous season. Perhaps the 95 season resulted in a year where Means was only able to play in 10 games. The Chargers released Means before the 1996 season began. Subsequently, Means would end up in Jacksonville and got off to a slow start mainly due to thumb surgery. Moreover, running back James Stewart, who was the Jaguars' first round pick in 1995, was getting the majority of the carries. In addition, Means didn't have a healthy yards per carry, but for the last four games of the 96 season, Means would get at least 21 carries in each of those four games and ran well in the last two. This stretch helped propel the Jaguars into the playoffs in only their second season of existence. And this is the other thing that comes to mind when I think about Natron Means, his 1996 playoff performance, where Natron was awesome. First. Means had a career high 175 yards in an upset win at Buffalo in the wild card round. The Means recorded 140 yards in helping the Jaguars defeat the Denver Broncos in one of the biggest playoff upsets ever. But unfortunately, things were quite different for Means and the Jaguars in the AFC Championship game against the Pats. For the 1997 season, Means would be getting more carries than Stewart, but his yards per carry was still low. Subsequently, Means ended up back in San Diego we had one more good season with the Chargers, but then was ineffective in 1999, which led to his release and basically the end of his NFL career. I would just like to wind down this video with this quote from former San Diego Chargers GM, Bobby Bethard, who was the team's GM all throughout the 90s. And I think this is a great quote to remember Natron means. Although he won't get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, I think several NFL fans enjoyed watching number 20 carry the ball. But I do know that Chargers and Jaguars fans enjoyed watching Natron Means during those entertaining playoff runs in 1994 and 1996. Real quick, I just want to thank all those who have supported 90 Sports Nostalgia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check out the links below for Patreon and merch. Thank you so much.